All right, this time we're going to learn about themes. We're going to learn how to apply a theme and how to create a theme and where we might use different types of themes. So let's take a look at ProPresenter and we'll jump right in. So as you can see here, I've got ProPresenter loaded and I'm currently looking at just a worship song. This song has a certain theme where the text is near the top of the screen. Uh, let's say we wanted to make a change to that. So I'm going to select within the song. Um, so it's, it's highlighted here. I'm going to choose theme and then we'll come into like a worship set and we're going to choose one of the themes that's already created. You'll see that it will in a moment apply that theme to the entire set. Uh, this is certainly a benefit because we can get all the slides changed all at one time. Now let's say for example you wanted to only apply a theme to a specific one. You can right click, we can then choose themes. We'll go under worship here. And let's say I want to make it this uh, outside teaching theme where uh, the text is obviously way large. Uh, that did only apply to a single slide, so this is how you can apply a theme to a full song or slide. Again, to go back to the full song, I'm either going to select in the sidebar just between slides, which essentially deselects all the slides, or you can select the title of the um, the presentation that you wanted to change the theme for. Now I'm going to go up into the toolbar. I'm going to choose theme, worship, and I'm going to go back to the upper this just happens to be a theme that we use most frequently at this campus. All right, so now that we've applied some themes, uh, let's talk about how we create that theme. I'm going to come into our teaching set here, and we can see that um, once it's loaded, uh, we actually have full screen themes uh, set up here for their teaching. Um, we need to talk about how to create that. So what we're going to do is actually go into a theme editor. You can get to it by hitting your more button up here and choose theme editor. You can also get to it by choosing theme, find a section that you want to change the theme for, such as sermon, and then down here at the bottom there's an edit option. And you can get into that same menu if you were to right click and choose themes. We'll say we go to the Bible, for example, and down at the bottom is our editor. Any of those ways will get you into the theme editor, so let's jump into that now. Within the theme editor, over here on the top left, you've actually got your main categories for the themes. But we also have an option of you know just selecting various categories. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to jump my picture over here to the right where there's less going on. Within the sermon section, we can see that there are some presets that we've got in here, but we really want to make a theme that's similar to this. Um, so let's just recreate that. Um, even though it's already here, we'll go ahead and recreate it anyway just so you see the process. I'm going to hit the plus button at the top. That adds another slide at the bottom. And then we can go ahead and name this theme, and we'll just call this an example. Now basically this is just a slide, so any elements that you add to the slide will be a part of your theme. So in this case it comes preset with a text box. Uh, we may like that text box, maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, we'll go ahead and use it. In this case I want to change the font style of that text. So I'm going to go ahead and come into text, and uh, we'll choose a font. And for our teaching, we use the Muli font, so I'm going to go and grab that. And we usually do regular with italics will be our standard text. Now, we don't necessarily want the text to fill an entire screen. We only want to use certain sections. So I'm going to reshape this text box, something like this. It's tall enough that we can fit several lines of text there, but it's also um, high enough on the screen that it's over top of the presenter while he's standing on stage. Now this text size might be a little small. Of course, we could put it up on the screen to check it. Um, if you look down here, um, behind my screen here, if you look down here to the right, there's a show button, which will allow for you to see um, just immediately what this looks like on screen. It may not show much because we only have one word within that, so it's not a whole lot to go off of. Now let's take a look at the size. We'll go ahead and bump this thing up to, let's say 60. So we've got a little bit larger text size, and it is only one item of text, which is not super interesting. Um, I'm going to go back to our show. So I've selected show. And let's just say I want to apply that theme to, well, the slide it's on right now. Okay, because I know it will be different because this is showing some bold fonts. But let's just right click. We're going to come into themes. We were under the sermon section. And there's my example. So I'm going to go ahead and choose example. It will apply that theme. And you might have seen the text bumped up just a little bit. It got um, the italic instead of bold. And uh, it all fits within there just fine. So we like that theme. Let's look at another theme. We've got this Bible verse here. 
Now, if we take a look at how the Bible verse is laid out, we actually have our verse reference, um, just the number in the superscript. We also have the verse itself. And down at the bottom, we have a verse reference with the full title and location of that verse. So let's see how we make that one. So we're going to go into the theme editor. And in this case, I'm just going to right click right on the slide. I'll choose themes under Bible. And I'm going to come down to edit. And the theme that we were currently using is probably this one here, full screen verse. Let's see if we can recreate that on our own. So I'm going to come in to uh, just hit the plus button. That gives us a slide. We do have some text here. Let's rename this text as reference. Okay, and let's add another text box. We can actually just copy and then just paste to create a second text box. We're gonna call this one scripture. Now the reason why it's different with uh, Bible verse is because scripture and reference actually are very specific to the way that uh, verses are made. Let's go ahead and have the scripture highlighted. And just for means of things, I'm just going to set it up here in the top left. And let's say we want to just make this scripture. Uh, we'll keep the font that's there. We're going to have a really large font size. Um, of course, whatever verse we choose is probably going to run right off the screen. We're going to choose this text box here, which is our reference text box. And we'll make this font size rather large as well. So we'll jump up to like 60 here. And we're just going to have it in this lower corner. And uh, so now we should see a result when we create a Bible verse. And again, this is just like extreme uh, uh, examples, just so that you could see. Uh, we wouldn't use this particular layout in any of our services. But just for an example, we should see text will fit within a box here, and the scripture reference will go in the lower section. Um, I didn't name this yet, so let's go ahead and name it. Example. We're going to go back to our show. And we could apply this theme to the slide we have here. So I'm going to right click. We'll choose theme, Bible, and example. All right, and you can see it's actually reformatted the way that we were hoping it to. We get a, a yellow exclamation triangle here. It's telling us that basically the contents of our um, of our our content <laughs> doesn't fit within the bounds of the box that we provided. Now let's go into the Bible editor. Up here in the top toolbar, we'll choose Bible. And in the Bible editor, you can actually choose slide options and apply this theme to any new Bible references that you create. So if you go into Bible, we could come down here to example. And then as you start to search and add Bible um, to your presentation, it will automatically apply the theme that you're wanting. Now in this uh, particular computer, we don't have any Bibles installed, so I can't show that. But just know that if you were to go into the options under Bible, you can apply the theme before you ever even start looking up scripture. Then at this point, if you need to create a whole bunch of stuff, uh, let's say your pastor has given you 30 verses that you need to create slides for, you could come into this Bible editor, search the reference, the theme is automatically applied, just copy and paste them right into your presentation, and you're good to go. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, I'm going to come back in here real quick. Let's take a look at other things we can do with the themes. All right, so we talked about themes within the teaching. So we've got a scripture reference. We've also got sermon notes. And we looked a little bit into the worship themes as well. You can apply themes to other things as well. So in a case of like a message that we might put on the screen, the messages also have themes. So let's take a look at like our minute 30 timer that we usually do before service. Our minute 30 timer actually does have a theme that we can choose. So if we choose the editor for the minute 30 timer. And we can see right here, there's a template um, and essentially a theme that we can select for that timer. I'm gonna right click, or not right click, just left click, standard click. And you can see we already have some themes that have been created. And here's a theme template for um, the timer. So now that I've applied that theme, when I select and show this timer, it should now put the text related to that timer up on the screen. So let me go ahead and tell it to show right now and see what we get. And sure enough, it has applied the theme that we were planning to use on that particular timer. Now let me clear that out. Uh, we're going to clear all. Let's just change this theme so you get an idea of what else this might look like. Um, so let's, well actually I don't have an additional theme. Let's change the theme since we're here. I'm going to choose to edit. 
And let's go ahead and copy or even just duplicate this. And this will give us another one that we can choose as example. All right. And uh, let's say we wanted this circle instead of being just, or it's oval, I guess, instead of it being a black oval, we may want to have it as a different color. So I'm going to come into the shape. We'll choose our color and let's just apply that it's white. Well, now we've lost our text. So let's uh, select the text element and we're going to choose text and we'll change this to black. So now we've essentially just inverted what that timer might have looked like. So we'll go back to our show. This should bring us back to the main menu. We can see that we've got our minute 30 timer still. It's currently on the template that we had previously used, the theme from before. We'll click on that, choose timer, and we're going to apply the example theme. And so now we see that there should be a change here. Let's go ahead and show this timer and see what we get. And sure enough, we've got the inverted timer here. So this is ways that you can use your themes um, all across ProPresenter to apply certain looks to uh, the things that you're doing within ProPresenter. Now we may also get to uh, an opportunity to explore what certain looks can do for you. So themes can be applied to looks. Looks can be applied to different screens that you have in your worship space. For example, our Northeast campus uses multiple screen styles and different looks on every one of them. And there's just a theme applied to each screen. So that way the content fits just perfectly on the, each of those screens. So that's all I've got for you today on themes. Uh, keep checking back for more training.